Hello everybody, this is Blue Bee Man coming at you here on this video and we're gonna be diving into custom columns just a little bit more and today's video, we're gonna kinda of just round it out because what I found with custom columns, it really is up to your imagination, your business, your workflow and when you understand what you can create with this, then it's a matter of just kinda of trial and error and finding the right outcome. I always like to work from the end result, what I want, and then work back into the method to achieve it. And I'm gonna show you a couple more things. So one of the things here is definitely just know that you can export a custom column list. You can import a custom column list into any brand new drawing, which is really cool. And so just don't forget that that's really neat if you're gonna create some standardization. I'm gonna click add here. Now there's a couple other ones in here. Choice is definitely my favorite. Choice and text are definitely my two favorite ones. Um, date is also kind of just, you, you have a date. Formula, I'm not gonna go into much. I'm not too experienced with this, um, but you can do a, definitely a lot of formulas. I know there's a lot of different trades out there that do formulas where you can multiply, you know, the there's a bunch of different things you can multiply in the formulas. I mean, you can go through this. I think if you start typing, you get a whole bunch of things like you can multiply measurements, you can put in rise drops, units and volumes and walls and all these different functions that you can do. I have not really got too much into the formula side of this. So um, just kind of just forgive me there. But the one thing I do want to go over is number. There's the last one here. Um, well, I got to name this. Let's call this, um, I'll just say hinge. And what is really cool is since we built these little door, we built these doors here the other day, um, A and B, these are different doors, right? Now, maybe some doors have like one hinge, like a continual hinge, and other doors may have two, like really big hinges. Most doors have three. Okay, let's just get that out of the way here. But for the sake of demonstration, let's just say door A here has um, just one continual hinge, right? It's like a security hinge. And then this one has three, door B has three. So now what's really cool about when the numbers is you can actually set different um, if you have a very limited amount of parts and pieces or a very limited amount of items in your drawing and your takeoffs or whatever, you can then put these things like hinge. Um, you can even add other ones in here. Let's say I go to markups list and I go to custom manage columns and custom columns. I'm just going to add a door closer. Closer. Okay. Closer. Yeah, that's right. And I'll make that a number as well. And let's just say, just for, again, just for demonstration purposes, that this has one door closer, and let's just say this is a, um, it's to say it has two. It's not gonna have two, but let's just say it for just for demonstration. Now that I added those two there on this page, obviously I could have done this just by clicking here and adding these. Actually, let's see, is it, um, hold on a second. So door A, oh, um, so now hinge, I'm gonna go three and closer on this one, I'm gonna go one. You can also do this with the devices in your tool chest as well. So on this one, I'm gonna go, this is gonna be three and this is gonna be two. And then door A, I'm gonna have one hinge and one closer. And this one is one and this is gonna be three and, and two. Okay, cool. So I got those set. So let's delete these off the page. So on this one, I have one hinge and one closer. And this one I'm gonna have three hinges and two closers. Okay, whatever, here we go. So watch watch the markups list. This is just where it's cool, but watch the markups list. You see as I'm adding, the numbers tally up to the top. And I thought this is really cool because at the end of the day, you might have these groups that might have multiple devices and you just wanna get the total count. So I know right now if I click door closer, um, I have 16, which is really cool. If I click hinge and I click it twice, I have 24. So I can very quickly add up all these numbers if I have a single device type that has the same devices in it, but I have multiple variances of it. So I have a door with, you know, this one has, um, you know, door type A has one. Um, I can go back to my here, but so door type A has one hinge, these have three, but I wanna be able to drop the same device, but count each individual device inside the package. And what's also really cool, if you have a really long list, you can create one other column that I found, which is really, really neat. And don't ask me how I figured this out. You can just say totals, just a text column and click okay. And now if you just click this column with nothing in it, if you click it, it'll automatically total everything up for you. 
So in one click, you'll get 29 and 21, and you can go back to here. So using the custom column list, using the markups list in Bluebeam is incredibly powerful for the ability to do the work once and count one, two, three, four, five, I don't know, heck, as many um, embedded data points within that takeoff circle or within the um, a markup and then all this data after the fact, as most of you may know, is you can export this to a CSV file. So the way this looks, you can just click export to CSV. I believe you might have to save it first. Um, let's see if it'll work. Yeah, you have to hit save first. That's a little trick. So you gotta make sure you hit save. And let's save that really quick. And then I'm gonna go CSV file and click okay. And so here we go. It's gonna export this to Excel. Hopefully it opens up in the middle of my screen. And there's your Excel file, and you're gonna have your data set right there. So there you go. I'm just gonna highlight everything here, double click. And so you have your, your door types um, and your A and your B. So that's really cool. Um, obviously, you can export it just with the totals on top too. Another little neat trick is that if you hit totals and you have everything totaled up and you just wanna see the door totals, then you can export this to Excel and it'll look just like this. So in this short video, Basically, uh, over the we covered just the um, the numbers, but in custom columns, the world is your oyster. You can enter as much data as possible. You can use the text. You can use the drop down choice. You can use the numbers. However, you want to do it. Just think about what's the end result that you want to get. What's the data set that you want to extract from Bluebeam that you want to leverage this markups list to get the counts that you need quickly so that you can put them in your proposal or you can leverage whatever you wanna leverage. But think about the end result, let that drive backwards into the process, build the process, play around with it, have fun with it. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Um, I will definitely make any video that you want me to make for you if you have a request. And I will keep making these Bluebeam videos to unlock all the different feature sets and all the different methods so that you can take them and be aware of them and then apply them to whatever workflow that you see fit. So that should do it for today's video. Have a great day, everybody. Later.